Hello everyone, today we're going to take a look at Android 5.1 on the Galaxy S4 Mini LTE. Now this ROM is based off Cyanogen Mod 12.1 and it is not official by the way, it is one of the unofficial builds by F4K from Media Developers Forums. The new Android 5.1 Lollipop is an update that improves stability, performance and offers a few new features uh, like support for multiple SIM cards, device protection and high definition voice on compatible phones. I'm not really sure if that applies for the Galaxy S4 Mini. As for the new device protection feature, if you lose or someone steals your phone, it will remain locked until somebody enters, uh, signs in with your Google account and he will not be able to uh, unlock it even if he goes into recovery mode and attempts to wipe data. So yeah, that's a pretty neat feature, but I believe this will only apply to Nexus 6 and Nexus 9 devices that will be shipped afterwards. And we also have two enhancements here on the quick settings, which is for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Basically, you see this little arrow down here. If you tap on it, you will see um, all the available Wi-Fi networks that you can connect. So at any time, you can connect and disconnect to um, other networks here, as you can see. And same goes for Bluetooth. From here you can control, you can disconnect and connect, and pair and unpair with devices, sorry. So yeah, uh, pretty neat idea in my opinion to have these uh, quick settings available here, these shortcuts. And like I said, the rest of the changes are probably just uh, core changes such as performance and stability improvements and nothing else. But as you can see, we are running Android 5.1. Now to install the ROM you would need to have a custom recovery, you, you may already know this, in my case I am using Touch 6 and uh, yeah, one of the first options which you already know is wipe data, you always need to choose that, so yeah, in my case I actually have an option clean to install a new ROM, so if you are on the same recovery it is recommended that you use this option, so I'm just gonna use this option and it's gonna format my system data, cache, and everything. And there we go, it is done. Next, we need to choose install zip. Choose zip from storage SD card 1, in case the file is on your external SD card. If it's on your phone storage, it's um, slash SD card. In my case, it is in my SD card over here. And uh, let's see, here it is, CM12.1. Choose that and choose yes to confirm and there we go the ROM is installing now be patient this could take up to a minute or two you could also install a GFS package there is a download link provided in the blog post but I'm just gonna skip that and I'm directly gonna reboot uh, the system and there we go guys that was pretty much it once your phone reboots you should be running Android 5.1 And as you can see, the phone has finished booting up and we are um, on the Android 5.1 ROM. So, so now let me just do a quick setup over here. I choose uh, English next, just to show you what it looks like from the setup screen. And then choose Wi-Fi, Cyanogen more account, Cyanogen features, you can uncheck and check uh, all of these location features. And uh, that was pretty much it. So yeah, we still have the same launcher, Trebuchet. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it guys. And that is everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did please hit the like button, if you haven't subscribed already please do so as there will be more helpful videos like this in the future, also I would highly recommend to check out this other channel that I have, I do app reviews, I comment on things, I show you uh, various tips and tricks on stuff, so yeah, you can check it out if you like, once again thank you for watching everyone and I'll see you next time, goodbye.